Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Opti TV. This time we're gonna be showing you how to rig a sail. channel don't forget that we're all about the opti sailing class which is not just the sailors but the parents and the coaches and the organizers so we got our best tips and tricks to show you guys some best practices on how to rig an opti sail for maximum performance so you want to rig an opti sail well i'm sure you've already seen plenty of videos that talk about the subject but let's take a look at first your basic setup and some important tips and tricks that you can use when you rig to have the maximum power in your sail and have the easiest time out on the water. Obviously the first thing you're gonna need is an opti sail. You're also gonna need a mast, a boom, your set of sail ties, set of corner ties. You're gonna need a wind indicator and you're gonna need some time. The first tip about rigging an opti sail is make sure you have enough time for you in order to set up your sail for the basic measurements properly. Start at the bottom, specifically your clue corner tie. Then connect your sail and keep working on your boom ties. Put your mast tie under your preventer during light as in variable winds, you can take advantage of the less friction. And when it's windier, put it over your preventer to ensure the preventer does not come off. A lot of kids forget this, but all the pressure on the sail ends up at the top. Your sail runs risk of falling out of measurement range. Put your boom bang on after you've done your top ties, as if you do it before then, it's going to be harder to tie your top ties as well as take the shape out of the sail before you even put the sprit pole on. Pre-tension your sail and check the final shape. So the reason why we want to make sure that our sail setup is perfect on land is because we want to do the least amount of work out on the water. Remember you have to deal with 12 sail ties, 5 corner ties, a sprit pole, a boom bank, a halyard, and a bunch of different control lines. If you do a good job of setting up while you're on land, it's going to make you have an easier time out on the water and make the boat easier to sail. Now, the reason we want a pretension is because we want to take away the stretching that can happen once the wind hits our sail. Check this out to see why it's so important to get your setup right because it's all about airflow. The most important thing about setting up your sail is ensuring you're going to have good airflow because you want to make sure your sail is not too lumpy. Airflow is all dependent on how smooth the surface is. It doesn't mean it has to be perfectly smooth. Sometimes creases here and there are helpful, but you don't want your sail to be looking uneven. Make sure you have everything you need before you set up your sail. Make sure you are putting your corner ties on first, starting with the top ties. Make sure that you are ensuring that your boom vang is properly pre-tensioned before you put your sail up. And lastly, make sure that you are setting up your sail for success by making sure your sail ties have an even tension. Don't forget, the class rule is a maximum of 10 millimeters. So what do you guys think? Hopefully you learned something in this video. Remember, the most important thing about rigging your sail is taking the time to set up your basic mode before you go out on the water. The Opti is not a complicated boat, but it is a sensitive boat. If you make sure that you put your sail ties on with the proper spacing and preset your tension, you're gonna have a good time out on the water. As always, thanks again for watching. This has been Alberto. See you next time.